The question here is in xy plane p and q are two points having the coordinates 2 comma 0 and 5 comma 4 respectively then the numerical value of the perimeter of the semicircle with the radius 3 fifth of pq is dash the given options are 3 pi 9 pi 3 pi plus 6 and 25 pi, uh, pi plus 9 now understand in this particular question though uh, we are taking it up as coordinate geometry i would say it is it is half coordinate geometry and half mensuration because what we actually need to find out is perimeter of the semicircle whose radius is 3 fifth of pq pq is basically a line segment now how do you know the length of this line segment it's not given it's not given directly but the coordinates of p and q have been given right see these are the two points it says p is 2 comma 0 and q is 5 comma 4 so what we'll have to do first here is find out the length pq find out how much pq is right length of this line pq how do we do that see from uh, the basics of coordinate geometry you would know that uh, you know the length can be taken as root over x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square so going by that it can be taken here x2 minus x1 or x1 minus x2 makes no uh, difference right so x2 minus x1 x2 is 5 x1 is 2 whole square plus y2 minus y1 4 minus y1 0 whole square you're getting it this is like x1 y1 this is x2 y2 right so you can take x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square under root or x1 minus x2 square plus y1 minus y2 square under root how how does it uh, not affect the answer because anyway we are squaring it so whether it is plus or minus when you square a value it, it gives you the same magnitude right positive magnitude now simplify 5 minus 2 is 3 3 squared 9 and 4 minus 0 is 4 4 squared 16 so this is like root over 9 plus 16 which is 25 and square root of 25 is 5 so we can say the length pq is 5 right 5 units we'll call it right 5 units let's say now he says radius, the radius R of semicircle is 3 fifth of PQ, 3 fifth of PQ, right? So this is 3 by 5 into PQ, which is 5, which is 3 units. So the radius here is 3 units. Now, what do we have to find out? Perimeter of a semicircle. Now understand, perimeter of a semicircle. Most of us commit a mistake here. We know that perimeter of a circle, for a full circle, the perimeter is 2 pi R, right? For a full circle, the perimeter is 2 pi R. So it doesn't mean that for half a circle, let's say the perimeter P is half of 2 pi r. If you're taking half of 2 pi r as the perimeter for semicircle, you are wrong. See, perimeter is what? Perimeter is length of the boundary. Now, this is a semicircle. Let's say this is the center point, right? This would have been the full circle there. So for a full circle, if it is 2 pi r, for half circle, you cannot take it as pi r. See, only this is pi r. Only this length is pi r. But there is an additional boundary here. What is that? This this length, which is the diameter of the circle. This is R and this also is R. So most of you have forgotten about this line segment, there, right? The diameter there. So that is the that is the point, right? If it is area, we can take half of the area. See, area of semicircle is half of area of the circle. So what is the area of complete circle? Pi R square. Area of semicircle will be taken as half of pi R square. But perimeter is not that. Perimeter is what? It is the boundary, length of the boundary. So we have half of that circular boundary. And then there is this straight line, which is the diameter 2R. So we know that perimeter of a semicircle, how much will that be? Pi R plus 2R. If you remember it as pi plus 2 times R, well and good. Otherwise, not very difficult to get this. Now, now substitute. What is the value of R? R is equal to 3. Substitute here. What do we get? Pi plus 2 into 3. So this comes out to be 3 pi plus 3 2 is 6. 3 pi plus 6, option 3. So if you had got option 1, 3 pi as the answer, understand you have only calculated that pi r, that circular length. You have not included the diameter there, right? So 3 pi would be the wrong answer. And of course, 9 pi and 25 pi plus 9 are also wrong. So the answer for this question would be option 3, 3 pi plus 6.